What's up guys? In my last video I mentioned that you can use power bank with your SP404 and today I will show you exactly what you need. So I had a couple of questions on my last upload about powering SP with a power bank and I thought it is worth to actually make a video about this topic because it is not as straightforward as it could be and I actually had some weird issues with that. But after exchanging a few emails with the people that made this cable, we found a solution. Now, before we go any further, remember that I am actually giving away a pocket operator KO. And all you have to do is subscribe to this channel and leave a comment in the video that I'm going to link in the description. Not this one. I mean, you can comment on this one as well. But if you want to win the pocket operator, go to that other one. When I first got my SP, I loved the fact that I can just put the batteries in it and take it anywhere I want. But after you get through a few of these boxes, you realize it's not that cheap. I know you can just buy a rechargeable batteries, but I just kept losing them or the charger could only take four batteries at a time, so you had to split them and stuff like that. So I didn't really like that, you know. So then I started looking for solutions to my problem and I found a company called MyVolts and they are making a USB to 9V adapter cable called Ripcord and for the record they don't even know that I'm making this video I didn't get them for free it is not a sponsored video so yeah now let me tell you something really important I know nothing about electronics so if you want to know how this stuff works just head down to the links and read the specifications because I'm not the best guy to tell you everything. Now this costs about 14 pounds plus postage. It's really well made. I have it for a while now and still works. No issues at all. Everything looks well done. It is wrapped in cloth and you have this little thing over here so you can tie the cable. It doesn't do all these weird things. After I got it, I plugged it into my SX, because this is my main machine. I take this one everywhere and this just leaves at home. So I didn't even touch that one. Plugged it into the SX and it didn't work. It will just slide up for a second and then die. So I thought it didn't work. I messaged the company and they, they told me that this is probably a faulty one and they sent me a replacement right away. And by the way, I just wanted to tell you that I really had a great experience with this company. They would respond to my emails very quickly. They send me a replacement cable, that's why I have a tool now. They really tried to find the solutions to the issues that I had. But after they sent me that next one, I'm plugging it in and exactly the same thing happens. So I'm like, what the hell is going on, man? But that got me thinking, let me actually check the OG. Because I never done that, like I said, it was just sitting on the desk. I don't really take it out. I just prefer SP404 SX to make all the stuff, and this is just for recording and putting the vinyl sim. I plugged it into the SP404, the OG, and it works. So my mind is blown. I don't know what the fuck is going on, and it got me thinking even more. And I was thinking like, let me actually try and plug this cable into my laptop and then from the laptop to SX to see if it actually works. So I did that and guess what? It worked. So after trying it with the laptop and finding out that it's actually working fine, I found a couple of old power banks that I had laying around that I stopped using because I had a bigger one that was in my backpack at all times to charge all my stuff. But I found those old ones and I plugged it in and it worked as well so I realized that the problem wasn't with the cable at all it was with this no-name cheap power bank 
So then I got in touch with my votes again. I described the situation. I told them what happened, and they told me they tested it with the with the power bank, and it always worked. So I asked them which power bank they used, and they sent me a link to this Anchor power bank, which is basically almost the same as that no-name brand, but better. So I bought this one. It costs about 30 quid, something like that, 30 pounds, and it works. So this power bank has two power outputs, LED indicators, which I really like because you can see when you really need to recharge it. It's the same on that one, but like I said, it doesn't matter because it's not working. This Anchor power bank has a couple of outputs, a couple of USB outs, and you can actually power both of the SPs at the same time, which is just amazing. You know, one power bank, two SPs, two cables, and you're ready to go. And also, I actually tried to plug the micro cork with this cable and it did work as well. So you can, if you have two cables and one power bank like this, you can take a SP, you can take micro cork to a park and have a little jam session, you know, great stuff. Okay, my guys, so this is it. Just bear in mind that this cable seems to have issues with some power banks. I will, of course, link the one I use in the description. Thank you so much for watching guys, it is really nice to see you commenting and subscribing and growing this small little channel. I can't wait for the giveaway day and who knows, maybe, just maybe, I will throw something extra, you never know. If you found this info helpful, please consider subscribing, give me some love, give me some love, man. Hello? That was my mom. You can check my music everywhere, all the links are in the description. Peace!